This is Comic Picks by the Glick. Hey, I'm your host, Jason Glick. Hey, Jason. What's got going on tonight? Hey, so, you know, I mentioned, like, last time that I, there was, like, you know, a lot of stuff that I was, could talk about and, you know, might, like, you know, come up as far as, like, you know, this, this particular, like, you know, podcast. Well, as it turns out, you know, it's like none of that is like is what this is up to tonight. Tonight, I'm talking about a series called Holy Land from the from from the manga um called um the like, code like um Ko, Koji Mori, and cool. um yeah. So it's like if you're wondering, like, go wait, who is this guy? And you know, what is this series? You know, like like I I don't blame you because you know it's like he's not a guy that I had I had heard about um before. Um, beforehand it's like and also it's like you know like i like, and neither had i heard about the series like as well but you know it bears i guess it bears mentioning that a couple that um several weeks ago like probably about over a month ago i think um it was announced that um that um Kentaro mira's um legendary series berserk well it was going to be continued it's like it wasn't going to like end you know with the with the death of its of its creator but it's going to but but um it's going to actually be it's like be continued as as a manga um with the art being provided by um like amira's um like studio studio gaga and his the assistants associated with that and the writing being done by um Ko, by koji mori mori being a um, good friend of it's like of mira um back like I'm back when they were like you know attending school and you know I assume I continue to the present day and also it's like you know it's like he like Amir is all, like Amorty is also a um accomplished manga in his own like like in his own terms as well it's like he's created like several like um several series as well one of them being um the series called um Holy Land so when I was like looking through the uh like the comments on I mean, news network and you know, like when this um when this announcement was made it's like they like they mentioned like you know like hey you know like oh so this is guy did holy land so like, yeah yeah it's like i can see this as being being all right it's like and i had not heard of this this series and so i figured okay so man yeah, i'm just gonna go give this a read and see what it see what it's like so first off um holy land um has not um been um published in officially in it's like in, in like any official um like by any official u.s publisher if you want to read this you're going to go search for it online it's like because it's only been scan related it's like and also it's like as far as like the uh the series goes like if you like the name holy land like if you hear this and you think well what is this? like is this like a uh, like is this like some kind of like um jrpg style fantasy series no no it's not oh well is it like a uh is it a series about you know like the uh like like the efforts to like um conquer um jerusalem back back during the crusades no no it's not oh is this a series about you know religious religious extremism in the modern day no no it's not holy land is the the title is kind of a metaphor for the uh like for the space between um that that um, young, young adults feel between like you know it's like you know during their high school days and you know, like the days that they actually become an adult thing you know they've got you know that that like undefined like lawless period where it's like you know you've got you don't have like a strict like strict adult guidance over what over your over your actions you know whether or not you're like you know like you know just you know Attending, attending high school and just you know trying not not to get caught up caught up by the adults or if you've like, you know dropped out or and or graduated and you're just you know, just you know running the running around the streets before you find out what you want to do with the rest of your life that right there is like a holy land it's just like you know the probing grounds between you know you um fighting like you know like fighting out your own space like it's like on like on on the mean streets of Tokyo, for lack of a better term. And the series starts off with um, you know, like with this um, one with this one character. It's like a um, guy named Yu Yu Kamashiro, who is um, like he's like he, who is like just kind of a uh, like 
like kind of kind of a weakling, weakling, but he's also you know like able to, but he's also able to like you know like fight off the thugs that come that that coming coming get him. And that earns him the name of the Thug Hunter, and that also gets him the attention of the uh, like the name of like the the guy who like rules the streets like at the time of Masaki Izawa, otherwise known as the Charisma of the Streets, and. The first chapter ends with, um, you know, like you having um, beaten out like um, some some random thug guy and by a guy named Yagi, and um, Masaki just you know like, coming across him and saying, like I'm coming across you and saying, like, like looking at him and saying, like is this the guy who was like you know was like who was like you know like f- like fighting off these thugs? Looks at him and goes, Nah, it's like it's not him, and that kind of sets the uh, the initial tone of the series because. Like this, because like the uh, the appeal of this the series is that um is that you is not your um average like you know street fighting protagonist. He is just you know like a uh, like a kid who is like who has who has been bullied um throughout his throughout his junior junior high years, and as he's like you know moved into his like um high sc- high school years, you know he's you know trying trying to trying to find ways to like, you know define to find the space that he can that he can live in because so it's like t- 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 one like early like early in the series that he tried he tried to kill himself because he realized that you know like i'm just gonna like be like be beaten upon by by all these other like all these other kids and also like the uh like the looks i get from my from my friends and from, from my family and other like other students like just looks of pity like that you that you give a weakling and he he initially tries tries to kill his but his body just just won't let him then he realizes that you know okay well if i'm not going to die then you know what options do i have and that's where he comes upon comes upon the idea of trying to trying to like you know fight fight for himself like you know struggling to like you know find a way to like you know like learn learn fighting fighting techniques that are going to, to help him out like it's it's not akin it's not um similar to the whole uh, you know one punch man like you know hey you know, I'm just gonna do all these like you know weight training techniques in order to do this but I think that a better analogy for this series is that um Yu Kamashiro is basically you know what you would get if Shinji Ikari um decided like um find like you know like um latched on to um like fighting techniques. In terms of you know piloting a giant mech in order to gain his self worth back, because one of the key things throughout the series is that um you our our protagonist he it's like he's um like he 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 lacks he, he like he lacks self esteem to us to assert himself, but um he has the um raw ability to present himself as a fighter, so so the series basically presents like like shows basically shows that you know. It's him, like you know, learning, like you know, the t- techniques of the street. Like, even if he's, like you know, he's taught himself the ways to, like, you know, throw, throw like a mean. It's like you know, like um, right, right, straight, like in a um, like in a super fast way. It's like he, like, but he also has the, like the uh, raw ability to just you know knock out you know like guys that are like much more accomplished at street fighting than than he is, and that's kind of like the way the way the series goes, you know, from like from the initial volume it's like when um cause like he's cause like it's all about you know, showing how you is able to like, present himself as a street fighter but also how um like um Masa- like a masaki like you recognize this guy is like hey you know what he may not have like you know like the technique down but he's got the raw skill in order to like be a uh like in, in order like you know like um advance like you advance his uh his aims and also like um, you is just trying to you know trying to carve out a place that he that he can be, not just you know like, like he's not just trying to like you know like oh I'm just gonna like, you know beat on dudes until uh, like no one's gonna fight me anymore. It's like he's just trying to you know like like present him like um use use these skills in order to like you know like present a uh, in order to like just you know cover the space where he can he exists as himself, his holy land in tur like in terms in terms of the series and it, it actually um works for him it's like because like as the series goes on like you know in short order he gets a um 
he gets a um close friend in ter- terms of um um Shin, who is like uh, you know just like you know the clown you know the clown like you know like um jokey type type character, who's like hey you know it's like hey like I know I know you like, I know you so like you were like you know like you know your friend on the streets like I want to get get to be your friend and all it's like and also um Shogo like the uh, like a, a like a karate user who also like you know is beaten initially by by you but then like you know becomes his becomes his friend in short short order so the uh, so the first couple chap couple of volumes are all about you know, like um you you know you're establishing something yourself and learning you know just what it means to be like an actual like you know fighter fighter on the streets you know in terms of you know taking out the uh, there's challengers that come across them like from the uh like from like from the judo to the judo user who t- who tries to um like you know throw like throw his ass down but he's able to you know fight like fight him out it's like in the uh it's like it's like the uh like the drug like um the druggie who uh you know has you know like low has has a high pain tolerance but also you know he's able to like you know like throw him throw him down it's like in like in short order himself there's because like there's like over the course of the series it's all about you just like you learning you know like new new techniques new strategies in order to like, you know take down like the people who uh who come come to fight him whether it's you know that druggy whether it's um shogo you know trying to like you know assert himself as the uh as, like the new like fighter or, or you know shogo basically really you know i like you're my friend and all but i want to know who's the best of all best of us and i want us wants to fight and all it's like and the tragedy that results that that results from that it's like or the uh it's like it's like or the uh, kendo kendo fighter it's like who is able to uh take tr- who like you know is able to, like you know wield like the uh wooden sword in order to fight fight him as well it's all about you know like i mean the series like has a you know standard like oh who's gonna win it's like who like is you going to like you know be able to beat this person or is he going to be you know defeated in this round it's like and on one hand, what kept me um, reading this series was um, like was use overall vulnerability because, like I said, he's basically kind of like you know the Shinji Ikari of this series, in the sense that you know he's not he, he lacks self esteem, he lacks you know a feeling of self worth about him, like about himself, and you know just like he needs to like you know like keep keep fighting people in order to like you know prove you know, like who who he is, and the series you know does a good initially does a good job of like you know showing like how he's going to do that like because you've got you know like the uh like him you know fighting like fighting against like the very like the the immediate threats that come after him and on one hand like you know that kind of works up to a certain point because after because like you know while you've got like you know him you know like because that because at one point you know i'm shin um his buddy i can get beaten up by um by the guys who um have it in for in for you and then you just you know goes on like a like on a blinding rage you know fighting fighting throughout the streets it's like up until a point where masaki has to take him out to just let him know that you know like you've gone too far you it's like in that that kind of thing and and also when um like he has to take on the uh like the the kendo like you know short like um wooden sword it's like like a wooden sword fighter it's like and also the uh it's like one of the boxers at like at his like at his school oh and also the uh, one of the kickboxers who's also like a real professional fighter because like the series like you know gets gets to the point where it's like oh it's like you know we're just um you know fighting like seeing like who who um you can fight like in order to like you know get better as a like you know as a fighter it's like that's basically like you know the thrust of the series it's like like you wants you know, wants to be a he, well i guess he doesn't want to be a better fighter but he just wants to like, you know find a way to just you know carve out this space for himself but at the same time like, you know the series is also beholden to the, like the the shonen conventions of like you know hey you got to find like you know new and better you know um characters for the for our protagonist to fight in order to keep the series the series interesting and that works up to a point and you get to feel that, that point gets um like kind of gets kind of kind of reaches that apex up until um volume volume 14 when you get when um 
when we get introduced to um, King, or yeah, I think it's I think it's volume fourteen. Could be volume fifteen. Basically, you get the feeling that you know this is like when um, Mori um, realizes that oh, we've um, kind of reached the uh, as far as we can go with this with this um, like with um, you fighting people on the street and like getting better and you know just without seeing without seeing rep repetitive. And then so he basically like, enacts this like big arc where 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 you has to fight this um this um like this drug this drug dealer um like king and he's just like he's got to like um, make things right with um a shogo who had who had fallen out with after he beat him like after a shogo determined de um demanded that they, they fight in order to see who was going to be the like the uh the big like the big um the best fighter right there because you know this is still like a shonen series but this is also still like a uh a scene in title where you don't know, have to be beholden to like the whole oh we're gonna like you know fight fight this as a big tournament arc uh, type type thing but the uh but the the, but the final arc that kicks off around volume 14 and 15 it's like is does a good job of, like you know bringing in you know, all like the uh like the people like that um you had fought beforehand it's like in order to like you know like show you oh like you know we're serious now like you're bringing in like the, the guys he'd beaten beforehand and we're gonna show them like show the bad guys beating them up in order to like show you who is going to be like the real it's like it's like the real victor here so i so on one hand this is like a good solid fight series and i also want to mention that it does it also does draw a lot from another series i've talked about previously called all rounder meguru that was a series that you know was explicitly focused on the world of um, MMA fighting, and you know there is there are a couple of MMA fighters that you know rear their heads like towards the end of this series. But one thing that um, this series like does draw on, like in, in terms of that, is that you know it talk it does a whole um, like you know people talking about the uh, the moves that the characters are using, and that's something that this series does a whole lot because. If you're like if if you if you're um annoyed by the fact when a series like you know just stops to like you know like talk about the moves that characters are using in order to give you like a greater understanding about what's going on in the fight, then man, this series is gonna like you know drive you nuts because not only do the characters do that, but also um Koji Mori as the as the manga also does that as well. Cause he will um you know just like you know stop you know, just stop in the middle of the fight to just explain to you, you know, what's going on here. It's like, and also like the, it's like, it's like the actual like um drive of the of the uh, moves being used here. And on one hand, I actually kind of appreciate you know how he's able how he's able like you know just to do that. You know, like as the as the author just saying like just tell the uh, reader like no no wait let me tell you how this is gonna go because like let me tell you how. You know, how pe how um how boxers you know like you know maintain their guards and all that that kind of thing, and I think that's probably because you know like I don't see that a whole lot. It's like you know it's like in manga you know in terms of like the the, the manga card, just like you know like you know just saying like you know what's going on here, and I kind of appreciate that. But you know it's like I will say that you know this is also kind of it like if you're if you're annoyed by the fact when like a uh, when a creature like you know steps in and just like you know to like has to explain to you like how the uh, how the fight is going to go and why it's going to go this way. Yeah, you're probably going to be annoyed here. In fact, um, if you're kind of annoyed by like the whole like you know shonen shonen angst um, style of fighting, it's like then yeah, it's like Holy Land may not be for you because, like I said, it's it is mainly concerned with um, use of growth as a fighter. And he's got that, you know, like lack of self-esteem that he's that that he needs, like you know, his friends, you know, it's like and other and other, it's like his friends and antagonists in order to, you know, tell him like you know what's what he's doing wrong and how he's going to like you know advance in the fight. And I will say that you know it does you know, um, work pretty well in in the end when in the final fights when he's like realizes that you know all the stuff that like you know my friends and um antagonists have like you know told me it's like this is um this is what works like this is what um like what they've told me like this is how i'm able to grow be grown as a grow as a fighter 
you know, on one hand, that's 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 pretty cool. It's like especially like you know when he's like able to like you know take on King at the end and also fight um, Masaki like as a um as a as a proper final fight. One thing that I, that kind of does annoy me is that the uh, final um final chapter is basically um kind of like you know set up um you as kind of like a more mythical figure than I would have liked. Just saying that you know. Because I don't want to give too much away, because I do think that the series, you know, is worth reading in its in its scanlated form. But it kind of gives uh, it kind of like you know, but kind of tells you that you know the uh, that use um, like his uh, status as a fighter. It's like you know he's he's still around, but he's it's more of a a mythic fighting type um, type experience than anything else. Because and I guess. I, mean, I did enjoy this. I did, you know, read through like all all eighteen volumes, and you know, so I can just start rereading it, you know, in advance of this podcast. But you know, it's like I do think that it's kind of like a uh, a fairly conventional, you know, shonen, shonen fighting series. Well, seinen fighting series, because you know, I think this is probably like you know too too violent for the uh, like shonen fantasy stuff that you'd see in like you know shonen in shonen jump and all. But it's it's good, but is it on um, the kind of series that um that makes me like go, oh well, like he's writing Berserk now, so like is this like does it make me feel good about the series? Well, I don't know. It's like it's I can't say that there was like a lot in um Holy Land that made me feel that Oh, this really like you know broke from the uh you know, mold and made me feel like oh this is like a series that everyone needs to read and it should be licensed um by a uh like by an american american publisher be it um like viz dark dark horse or kodansha or seven seas because it's, it's you know it's i think i said i think it's entertaining for what it is but you know ha- if i had been you know asked to pay for it you know would i have like enjoyed it as much uh, i don't know i mean i think that um mori does a good Good job with the characters and the overall fight, you know, expressions of the fight of the fighting scene, fighting scenes and all. But you know, it's like, is it better than something that is it necessarily better than something that does the same kind of thing, like say all around or Megaru? I don't know. I I don't think so. But at the same time, you know, Mori also has like a uh, like a lot of other series um, under his under his belt as well. One that ones that involve like time travel and domestic terrorism and stuff that I would um I'd be interested in reading as well because I like this series. It's like and I I kind of want to read more of his of his stuff. But is this like the uh is this is Holy Land the uh the silver bullet that makes you go, oh wow, um Berserk is in good hands from here on out. No it's not, but at the same time I can't say that you know it's like that 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 berserk is like you know going to be ill served by his by his presence because he he clearly understands like you know how to make a good you know like you know, fight scene so it can work in terms of saint of saint in comics. So is this so is um is berserk's future assured? No, it's not. But at the same time, I'm not going to write it off as well. In fact. You know, it's like I probably wouldn't be write, willing to write it off in any case because you know I need to know you know how how it's going to end, and you know the fact that you know that Huck, that publisher Hakusensha is you know committed to like you know like determining the the uh, like the future of the series. Well, it's like I'm glad that they're like you know going forward with the, with a conclusion. Whether it's going to be a good conclusion, that's that remains to be seen. Yeah, and yeah, that's that's all I got to say right there. All right, cool. So, what are you going to be talking about next time? Oh, well, I don't know why you're asking that, John, because you should know what we're going to be talking about next time. Wait, does this have something to do with turtles? <laughs> Maybe like mutant ninja turtles, really. Oh, not box turtles. Okay, got it. <laughs> 
mutant ninja mm-hmm. turtles got it all right cool well uh awesome well we can't wait to talk about that one and uh, i guess we'll what we'll do is we'll catch you next time on comic picks by the click all right laters everyone bye